Hello, hello, welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 38. 38. <laughs> I, I, I need like a, a mount right here for my rundown sheet. So, I, so I've got it over by the camera. Um, yeah, 38. We uh, just finished knocking off that big nasty droid over in the corner there. That guy. Mr. Parts on the floor. And now we're about to board the shuttle and hopefully find the Ebon Hawk. I mean, that is what we set out to do before we got shot down. All right, take the shuttle into the shielded mesa in the pole region. Oops. Let me uh, switch to the desktop. Or not. What? Oh. All right. Sorry. I, I didn't realize that uh, after a little glitch with the video card uh, a couple of days ago that I was going to have to redo some of the Streamlab stuff. We have arrived too late. The target has invaded us. We must pursue it. Observation. They have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query, have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer, hmm. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region, which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement, dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates oh. and approximate path of the shuttle. That, that does make it sound like there's more than just a couple of these guys coming after me too. Well, this can't be any worse than last time. So that's the whole Oh, the don't say network, that. Huh? Doesn't look like much to me. Oh, famous last words. All right. So, the video that I can't show you because I I didn't realize I was going to have to fix X split shows the shuttle coming in. We've got an HK taking aim with a big honking blaster. No, that looks like a rocket launcher of some sort. So uh yeah, it looks like we're uh You've gotta be kidding me. It's not my fault. Okay, discount Han Solo. And now the video is showing the ship getting hit. Again. And down we go. We're about to crash. Oop, skip, skip. <laughs> like a stone skipping across the water, we're bouncing across the plain. All right. Assessment. I picked up on the heat forms of the Jedi and his allies. Activate the mines and prime the self-destruct sequences. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I'm not going down like this. Hey, where's Baradar? Relieved statement. Oh, Jedi, it is good to see you intact. We were concerned that shooting down your shuttle would damage you irreparably. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Unnecessary addendum. <laughs> and put an end to hostilities. Yeah, okay. Alright, uh... <laughs> destroying one of you is easy. Wiping out three of you might cause me to break a sweat. Uh, if you want to fight, then come on. How many of you are there? What are you doing here? Any reason why you shot down my vessel? And let's lead in with that. Unnecessary clarification. We merely wish to cripple your vessel. Once oh, we tried oh, that's your coordinates, we were able to deploy several droids in this location. Probing query. We are, however, curious as to why you chose to come to the remnants of the polar telos irrigation system. There hmm. is nothing here that our instruments can detect. Eager threat. But we are looking forward to extracting your motives for coming here when we place you in torture restraints. Torture restraints, huh? Alright, uh... So what are you assassin droids doing here? Self-evident answer. Wherever you try to run, we will be there. Armed and ready. Rhetorical hmm. query. So the query you have posed to us is one we put to you. What are you doing here? 
we wonder. All right. Uh, I already asked why. Let's go. Uh, how many of you are there? Chiding statement, oh Jedi. There are as many of us as are. I'm not a Jedi anymore. Or kill our Yet. Egotistical boast, and there are far more of us than any one Jedi. Destroy one of us, and more shall rise from the wreckage. Hail Hydra. Oh wait, threat. wrong franchise. And our Although owned by the same company. Uh-huh. All right, so what are your assassins? Any reason why you shot me down? I think I've exhausted everything other than if you want to fight, then come on. Or destroying one of you is easy. Wiping out three might cause me to break a sweat. Do I need to go unnecessary boasting? <laughs> unnecessary boasting. Destroying one of you is easy. Wiping out three of you might cause me to break a sweat. No, I'm not going to do that. If you want to fight, let's fight. Oh, seriously, now he gets a level up? Uh, the time for that was earlier. All right, so let's hit him with a disabled droid. Grab an energy shield. Get a battle booster. And Knight Valor. Then I'll let them do whatever they're going to do, because they're just going to do whatever they're going to do anyway. Oh! Oh my. Where that came from. Oh. And then let's get the uh Oh, why are you running in, lady? I I don't I don't even. Focus. I'm trying. Time to even the Come on, double down on him. Flurry, flurry, like your life depends on it. <laughs> Alright, what you got in the remains? A droid agility upgrade and a droid energy collector? Okay. What you got? Hey, an HK control cluster. That could be important. Especially since I didn't do the first one that I really meant to do. And what you got? An advanced upgrade slot and a defense barrier. Alright. There's everybody up. Atten's at level 8. Uh... Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to try to let him hang at level 8 for just a little bit longer. In the hopes that I can get more Jedi levels out of him. Alright, so that is... That's all the bodies looted. That is all the bodies looted. Now, let's see if we can find... There he is. Uh, looks as if he was knocked unconscious by the explosion. If you can find refuge, then he should recover in time. Alright. Somewhere around here. Where is the exit? Because that's pretty much all there is on this plateau. Ice, snow, some killer droids, and an exit. I want to say it was somewhere around the rim. I may have to pull up a map. Oh, hey, there it is. I knew I'd find it sooner or later. How much of my map am I missing anyway? Yeah, I might not, might not worry about that while uh, somebody's freezing. All right, let's head to the interior. Yeah, I was wondering if we were going to leave him behind or if we were going to drag him in. I was hoping we would be the ones to drag him in, but okay, whatever. Uh-oh, conversation time. Lay down your weapons and you shall not be harmed. 
Uh, who are you? All right, we mean no harm. All right, take my weapons and you die. Seems like guaranteed dark side points, which I don't want. Uh, I'm not giving up my weapons. Well, maybe not dark side points. Seems unhelpful. So, I could go with who are you, but let's go ahead with all right. Let's start with all right. We mean no harm. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? Does Wait, ice what? Hole? Yes, it bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? That's my question. A place hidden from the galaxy like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a <laughs> nest of Jedi. Then what is it What do you mean by a nest of Jedi? Such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Oh, come on. Don't, don't, head. don't do that to him. Let me Just because you're in prison doesn't mean you need to violate him. To its source. Stop. Stop. No, ah. no, don't, don't, don't do that. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why... Ah, and there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Atten. Hmm. If he is a Wait, Jedi, what's with the scare quotes him. around Atten? And if he is not, he will not care. You can't tell him, please. I'm asking you. I don't want him to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Oh. Still, there hey. is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of <laughs> yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. Oh. You know how important this man we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve him until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You fear the <laughs> Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever oh, that fear doesn't you sound hold good. of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how oh. you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejarik can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are <laughs> a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even mm. you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the force <laughs> is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. Huh. And now Interesting. I the past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. Nope. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. Need no distractions. A what's with the uh? Conscious. What's with the murderer stuff? Am I the only one who's kind of like uh trying to figure out what's going on with it? All right, my turn to talk. The lonely march. 
into an interesting audience chamber. Maybe my armor's not dark enough. Do, do we need the long slow shot? Is this supposed to build tension? I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you oh. had taken the exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Uh, ooh. There's lots of choices. <laughs> Revenge. You can cast you cast me out and now I've returned. No. I'm here because a pretentious shitta stole my ship. Uh that doesn't seem like it's helpful. I'm looking for my ship so I can leave. If you think <laughs> if you think I wanted to see your face again, you're sadly mistaken. I would have to remember you first. Uh, it was my, my not my intention to come here. I want my property. Tell me what you've done with my friends first. Uh all right, yeah. Where are my people? Your concern is noted. Your friends have not been harmed. Just noted. They have been detained for their safety. I mm -hmm. find it unusual that you are traveling with others again. I had thought you had forsaken the company of others after the war. Or is that why you are here? All right. Uh okay. Looks like a limited version of our choices from before. Uh now, let's start with the gentle path again. Light side. Neutral good. It was not my intention to come here. Yet here you are. Perhaps mm -hmm. you do not here know I yourself am. as well as you think. Regardless, your arrival here begs an explanation. Have you come to face the judgment of the Council, as you did so many years ago? Are you finally willing to admit that we were right to cast you out? Ah! Uh. Back to revenge. I'm not here to debate the council's decision. I deserve exile. I was no longer Jedi. Uh, I could not stand by. Uh, we could go with the force brought me here. Um, hmm. Let's go to refresh my memory. Why? Because you turned your back on us and the Order. You followed Revan to war against the Mandalorians, the very oh. war that made Revan a Lord of the Sith and ruined you. How did it ruin me? No. All right. Uh, I'm here for revenge, nothing more. I'm not here to debate. I'd follow Revan over the Jedi any day. Nah, that seems like a trap for the dark side points. Uh, better to go to war than be ruled by cowardice. No, no. Uh, the council wanted to assess the threat while people were dying. That's better. Couldn't stand and allow innocents to die. Um, let's go with I, I, I did so for the Republic's sake, not Revan's. The Republic asked the Jedi Order for aid against the Mandalorians. That much is true. Yet that aid did not mean rushing into battle, giving in to aggression, your hate, your passions. You sought adventure. You hungered for battle. You could not wait to follow Revan to war. The Jedi Order asked only for time to examine the Mandalorian threat. They urged mm. caution, patience, and you defied them. So when you returned, you were brought before us. You were a Jedi no longer, and so you were exiled. All right. I realize now that you and the Council were merciful. I remember now. You do not need to remind me again. My punishment could have been worse, for that I am grateful. <laughs> I also recall you wish me imprisoned, or worse. Uh, if we're trying to stick to the light side, it seems like either two or four is our better option. So let's go ahead and let's admit my punishment could have been worse, and for that I am grateful. There was much about that day that was difficult to forget. Your words, your defiance... And when you stabbed your lightsaber into the center stone, I had kept it, so I would never forget. Oh. <laughs> Keep it. Stole it, you have. No. I didn't realize he still had it after so many years. It was your right to do so. I no longer deserve to. I was no longer a Jedi. It was no longer mine. Um... Uh, Let's go with I was no longer a Jedi. It's no longer mine. That seems to keep us along the path that we're trying to walk. Indeed. A lightsaber is the mark of a Jedi. When you turned your back on the Order, it was not yours anymore. I have always kept it. 
as a reminder of what can happen when your passions dictate your actions. I have kept it, so I would never forget your arrogance or your insult to the Order. Uh. Alright, keep it then. I could care less. It's a little too flippant. Uh, give me black the back. Give me. Let's try that again. More coffee first. Live.anonjunior.com. Help contribute to the coffee. Uh, okay. Give that blade back or I'll tear it from your dead hands. Insult to the order. You insult me by carrying it. There, there seems to be a lot of options for some very dark and argumentative answers. Whatever your reason, I want it back. If I became a Jedi again, would you return it to me? I wish to earn the right to carry it. Let's go with if I became a Jedi, would you return it? Become a Jedi again? That is a thing far out of reach. Nah. I'm not unsympathetic to your feelings. Leaving the Order must have been difficult for you. Yet you gave the Council no other choice. You gave me no other choice. Alright. I went to war to protect others, not for battle. I had no choice but to go to war. Let's go with I went to protect others. Because those last two, like, the council was weak and ruled by fear. I, I, I see, you know, the darkness descending just by answering it that way. And I'm not here to debate the council's decision. Seems like the least productive answer I could give out of the four options I have available. So let's go with I went to war to protect others, not for battle. So your choice was to meet the aggression of the Mandalorians with more aggression. That is not the Jedi way. Um. <laughs> and the council's way was to meet aggression with surrender. I'll take my choice any day. Now, is it the Jedi way to let people be massacred? I told you it was not aggression. I was defending others. It was for a just cause. The Mandalorians were butchering innocent worlds. Worlds that we had sworn to protect. Uh, it feels like either options three or five would be better. Because the worlds that we had sworn to protect are at least leaning towards, like, you know, we made promises, Jedi is supposed to keep the promises, or, um, you know, it wasn't an act of aggression, it was an act of defense. Oof, defense. All right. Uh... Let's go with option number five. Every choice we make, whether we know it or not, sends echoes through the Force. It can awaken feelings, ignite passions, hate, anger, fear, where none existed before. By meeting aggression, by serving as an opponent against which the Mandalorians could test themselves, you fed their hate, their lust for oh, war. That's fair. And it sent a terrible echo through you. And because of it, you and those Jedi who met them on the battlefield lost their way. And you turned on us. Hey, hey, hey. I did not turn. That was Revan. And he turned back. We know it. Because we already played through Knights of the Old Republic 1. <laughs> Alright. Uh, were you not tempted to help the innocent? I did not lose myself there. I found myself. I would make the same choice again. Revan and Malik turned on you, not I. Alright, there's that. I lost nothing in the war. I'm not here to debate the Council's decision. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm not here to debate the council's decision. Seems like the shortcut out of this conversation and into the next one. So if, you, if you've already played through this and you just don't want to have the chit-chat or you don't care about the option to gain lighter dark side points because I'm, I'm pretty sure mo many of these options will get you one or the other or both. Uh, since I'm trying to show you the whole game, I'm not going to skip it that way. I lost nothing in the war definitely seems like a wrong answer. Uh, Revan and Malik turned on you, not I, is tempting, but a little too bit of the technical truth. Like, you know, technically true is the best kind of true. No, um, I, I'm not sure I, I'm going to go, let's go, let's go political and, uh, uh, reverse the question instead of actually answering it. Let's, uh, go with, were you not tempted to help the innocent? Of course I was. But the Jedi teachings require we examine how we may best help them. Action without reflection is not our way. Uh. Alright. 
So, you were content to let the Outer Rim die for the sake of teachings? Uh, I don't know. Tell that to the millions who died in the war, lives we could have saved if the Jedi had acted earlier? Uh, our teachings do not mean we should stand by and watch others die. Okay. Hesitation and passivity are also strong emotions, ones we should guard against. I'm not liking a lot of my options. I'm really not liking a lot of the options here. Uh, let's, uh, maybe try option number two there. There was no guarantee that marching to war would have saved the Outer Rim. In fact, quite the opposite. All right. <laughs> have you been reading the history of the blind? Revan won the war. That doesn't seem like the point to bring up right now. Uh, we could have waited, but defeating the Mandalorians after they had won would have been difficult. Eh, not the most persuasive option. No, there's no guarantee we would win, but if we had not acted, the Mandalorians would now rule the Republic. Okay. Even the Mandalorians admit that Revan turned them back, not helping. If we had not fought, the Republic would have fallen... Let's lean on that one. Physical victory, perhaps, but the real victory lay in... Uh, the triumph of pacif pacifism? Surrender? Uh, and how many people would have died if the Mandalorians hadn't been stopped? If we hadn't stopped them, the Republic would have been destroyed. The triumph of Jedi teachings is a cold thing when no one is left to appreciate them. I mean, I kind of like the jab of that one. Uh, but... Let us instead go with, if we hadn't destroyed them, the Republic, if we hadn't stopped them, the Republic would have been destroyed. Or how many would have died if the Mandalorians hadn't been stopped. Now let's go with how many would have died. You do not know. Seriously. <laughs> You're correct. I don't know. And neither do you. Point, set, match. No. Nah. Uh, I have only my experiences to guide me, and they tell me you and the Council are wrong. Oh, please. Anyone who stepped outside the Jedi archives would know. Ooh, that's... Mm, a little catty. All right. If the Mandalorians have won, would the Jedi have fought then, or simply meditated on what to do? Uh, all right. Those first two options seem a little too something. Maybe we'll go with uh, you're correct. I don't know and neither do you. How dare you? The Mandalorian Wars should have been your grave and Malachor 5 is where you should have died. Uh, I think this conversation is over. I don't want to reopen any moral wounds. Let us end this. Uh, you know nothing about what happened. Be silent. The Republic is the one that should have died. Careful. Anger leads to the dark side. At last it comes out. Was it always this personal? Is that something I'm getting for my awareness score? Let's go ahead and try that path. You see shadows where there are none and hate where there is none. You are blind as always. I, I don't know. It's not kind of hired. With you. Hating. You lust for war and you always will and you have succeeded in distracting me from my questions. So answer me. If you cannot seem to admit the Council was correct, then why are you here? I'm looking for my ship. I'm here because of pretentious... <laughs> Alright, let, let's just go with I'm looking for my ship, because the those are two of the three options, other than saying, Revenge! And now I've returned. Ha ha! Alright, let's go with the first one. Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hall. It is not your ship. Unless... You are admitting to the destruction of the Paragus Mine. That was not me. They shot at me. <laughs> are you admitting to stealing the Evan Hawk? Do you have my ship or not? I admit nothing. Paragus? I don't know anything about Paragus. I'd wish I'd blown it, but it wasn't my fault. It was necessary. It was an accident. Uh now let's go with it was an accident. Something beyond your control. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking. Putting yourself before hey. the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? 
Why don't you tell me? Yeah, I destroyed two worlds with one explosion. I know it put Telos in jeopardy, but I had no choice. Yes, yes, Telos is doomed. Progress was nothing. I've had enough of you and this. Uh... Let's go with I know it put it in jeopardy, but I had no choice. No, your crime is much more than that. Without hmm. the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. Ooh. Oops. Uh... Let's go with what do you mean? Because that, that seems a little... That seems a little exaggerated. Like 20 other worlds? Yeah. What do you mean? Telos was a test to see if the Republic oh. could mount a restoration effort on the Outer okay. Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds devastated by the Sith will remain graveyard worlds, devoid okay. of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. <laughs> it's almost as bad as the Jedi letting the Outer Rim die during the Mandalorian Wars. <laughs> you know me, and I would not have intentionally committed such an act. It was not my intention, but the Sith attacked me. The battle destroyed the colony, so now I get blamed for the actions of the Sith. My crime, the Sith destroyed <laughs> progress, not me. I mean, that is true. I won't allow you to put me on trial. Nothing compared to what I'll do if you don't give me back my ship. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's almost as bad as the Jedi letting the Outer Rim die during the Mandalorian Wars. So you still hold to your flawed convictions. If you think to anger me, you are wrong. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin Ow, yourself with your that hurt. You will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. Uh, this is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, let, let's go with uh, the Sith destroyed it, not me. Sith? What do you mean? The Sith have returned. They're hunting all Jedi. You'll find out when their hand is at your throat. They came for me on Paragos to kill me. Yeah, let's go with the third one. You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. And you encountered you can probably them see them too. But what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. Uh... <laughs> Since you were hiding, they came after a real Jedi. Ooh. Ooh, salty. Uh, the fools thought me a Jedi. They didn't realize I'd left the Jedi behind. I was the only Jedi they could find. I don't know. Perhaps they were. They intend to exterminate the Jedi everywhere. They believe me to be the last Jedi. Let's go with that one. You. If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I <laughs> am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core oh, of the Jedi seriously order. going around this if again? Attacked, I'm already ten minutes over. Their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. Uh, then let me go and I'll leave you to die. I just want my ship back. They're stronger than you think. At least one Sith Lord stands with them and they fight differently than the Sith from the Civil War. That might be the answer we go with. Were there any other, any survivors of the Jedi Civil War? There must be other Jedi. If so, then I offer you my help. You'll need it. I do not think I was followed. Uh, all right. So it's either number five or number two. Let's go. Let's offer help. That that might that might actually help things. You offer your aid after turning your back on me. On the council. Oh, come the on, Jedi lady. Is not something you embrace out of fear. Let it go. The commitment is stronger than that. Something you never seem to understand. All right. Uh, uh, for my help and you insult me, forget it then. If you think I act out of fear, then it's obvious you never understood me. Possibly. You can't do this alone. I offer my assistance. I'm doing this out of fear. I w I'm not doing this out of fear. I want to help. The Sith have numbers on their side. You'll need all the allies you can get, Jedi or not. But I always understood war, and that's what you need. Uh, hmm. Let's go with the third one. Perhaps. But if you help me, it cannot be done from here. There are others in the galaxy who may help us against a Sith threat. 
Okay. If you can find them, gain their trust. Perhaps our defenses shall be stronger for it. Take your ship, seek them out. If you find them, encourage them to gather on Dantooine. From there, we can call a council oh. and see what can be done. All right. Fine, I'll be on my way. No arguments here. Where can I find my companions? I'll see what I can do. If there's anyone who can aid us, I will find them. All right. Yeah, let's... Uh, this is the first option we've had to check back in on our companions, and I feel like we ought to seize that. You shall find them north of here, in one of the old irrigation chambers. They have not been harmed. They are free to leave as well. All right, no arguments here. Then I shall send you on your way. It is now time for you to depart. We shall remove him, mistress. Hey, hey, hey. Easy on the remove him. I'm getting a little dizzy with this camera panic. Are you all right, mistress? The exile brought up feelings best left forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile... I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Did you care <laughs> for him once? The Jedi have no such attachments. As always, he will do as he wills. Yeah, okay. And the galaxy and the feelings of others can burn for all he cares. The day we hey, judged hey, him, easy. I stood in the chamber and he was... He was so right. He was so certain of it, I doubted myself. He chose Revan over the Jedi, over the Council, over... But now, now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Mm-hmm. All right, so hopefully whenever I get done, whatever whatever can happen here, I might be able to get a lightsaber back. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice. Did we need that long camera shot on her leaving? All right, journal entry added. Light side points gained. We're already like 15 minutes over, but let's go ahead and see what we got in the journal entry. Lost Jedi, you found one You found one of the Jedi Council. Atris in a hidden polar academy on Telos. After some initial hostility, she let you help her gather the Jedi and reunite them on the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine. That I thought was blown away. I guess we'll find out about that. I still need to get back to um, the 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 orbital station so I can turn in the bounty on the criminals. I got a funny feeling I'm going to head back there sooner or later. All right, you have found a lightsaber energy cell fixture. Might be able to make a new one. Uh, that's right. I still got to finish learning about that there and smuggling. Oh. Okay, so, no, we still got to figure out some more stuff on the Citadel station to include the new fuel source. All right, that was a lot of talking. I don't want to do it again, so let's go ahead and do a quick save. And this is where we're going to toss in a uh, little intermission on the live stream and a cut for the next YouTube episode. So, uh, give me just a second. Well... That was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit. 
especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.